a cult-like belief system. So this is controversial for me to say, but I'm going to tell you what I think. I believe that transgenderism specifically is a mental health disorder. I believe it's a mental health condition. Okay. Well, I, no, 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 we're gonna finish this. This is good. I want, we have to have open conversation in this country. But I don't think the Not compassionate thing to do. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. You guys, we have a new video on our list. Um, an LGBTQ protestant was giving the mic to speak. Let's watch what happened next. I'm gonna sit across the table from Xi Jinping. Give me the hard questions. What's up? You heard me. I actually didn't. LGBTQ. Yep, what about it? Yeah, you just said there was nothing about transgender. Yeah, so I. how about this? I give you the mic, and we hear what you have to say. And then I'm going to answer you, and you'll hear what I have to say, what everybody else here has to say. Does that sound like a good deal? I don't need the mic. Yes. I can speak louder. Well, stand up, tell me your name, and, and, and state your question. My name's Alexis Case, and I grew up here. Okay. In this town. Yeah. Okay. LGBTQ is a serious situation in this world today. There are children that get bullied because they are gay, they are lesbian, they are transgender. I don't mean that. Okay, you're welcome to have it if you want. You get to ask your question, but after that, you're going to hear me give my answer. So I'll let you finish. What is your, what is your stance on LGBTQ? Good. Thank you for your question. I'm going to answer it. I'm going to go into a level of depth that I don't usually go into on a campaign trail, but I'm going to do it because you asked the question. You deserve an answer. Okay. LGBTQIA, there's so many letters, they've just added a plus at the end. That's where we are now. What's going on? So the same movement, because if we're going to call that one thing, let's, let's play it fair. The same movement that said that the sex of the person you're attracted to is hardwired on the day you're born. That was the premise of the gay rights movement, for it to count as a civil right. That movement is now saying that your own biological sex is totally fluid over the course of your life. Hypocrites. You can't believe both those things. Well, I think I'm going to get to a deeper say. It's, that's where I was about a year or two ago, but I think there's something deeper going on, and I'll tell you what it is. So the same movement, and by the way, let's think about the feminist, the women's rights movement in this country, which said there's many ways to be a woman. You can have long hair, short hair. You can have, wear a skirt. You can wear jeans. Now says that, oh, if actually you want to behave a certain way, that means you're a man. So I think that the hypocrisies go all the way down. And I'll tell you what's going on. You can't believe both of those things at the same time mm. if you're operating according to principles of sheer logic. But you can if you're adopting a faith, a cult-like belief system. So this is controversial for me to say, but I'm going to tell you what I think. I believe that transgenderism specifically is a mental health disorder. I believe it's a mental health condition. I agree with him. Well, I, no, 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 we're gonna finish this. This is good. I want, we have to have open conversation in this country. But I don't think the Not compassionate thing to do. It's a health disorder. It's well, how they fucking feel. Well, let me, let me, let me. If, I'm going to give you a chance to respond if you'd like, but no, we can't, can't have an open think. debate in this country if we're not able to state our views. That's how they feel. This is, they, that's how they feel. And you know what? I'll tell you a story, and you deserve to hear this. I met two young women in this race about six months ago. Their names were Chloe and Katie, two young women. They're in their 20s now. Both of them had their breasts cut off. Hmm. One of them had her uterus removed. They're in their 20s. They regret that decision. One of them wants to have kids. She'll never have kids. The other one will never breastfeed her children. They'll never be the same because they had that done to them when they were teenagers. So no, when a young person shows up and says, my gender doesn't match my biological sex, they're asking for help. But you just said 20. That's not 
They, no, 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 they happened to them when one girl was 13 when it happened to her. She's in her 20s now and regrets it. This is what's wrong in this country. We will look back at this Thank you. and say this was barbaric that we allowed this to happen in this country. That is not compassion. That is cruelty. It's true. And so I don't think the right thing to do is I'm not going to villainize those people. You don't villainize people who are going through suffering, but you have to be willing to say when a kid shows up and says, my gender doesn't match my biological sex, you have to be able to say, what else is going wrong at home? What else might be going wrong at mm. school? Get to the bottom of what's going on. Help that person with compassion, with dignity. Mm. So my view is this, if you're an adult, you're free to live your life however you want as long as you're not hurting somebody else. If you're a man, you can dress how you want. If you're a woman, you can dress how you want. Identify how you want. We're a free country and I'm not gonna stop you. But kids are not the same as adults. Mm. And we have to protect our children. And, and, and I'm gonna go further than that. We can't change the way that women and men compete in sports. We can't do that. We can allow you to live your life the way you want to. But we can't change the way that we operate in our own life. And I'll, I'm gonna finish this thought and then you get to respond. Because I think this is good. We don't do this enough, open debate. I love this. I think what we've had in our country before is a tyranny of the majority. And that's what we worry about. But right now we don't have a tyranny of the majority. What we have in this country right now is a tyranny of the minority. Mm. That's what we have right now, a tyranny of the fringe minority that tells you to shut up, sit down, and do as you're told. Mm. Yeah. No, we have to stand for what is true. And so I promise to you, you will have a chance to respond. I'm going to keep my promise. You tell me. This is good. We don't do this enough in our country anymore. Open conversation. Tell me. My gender, but living here in this town, I knew that I wanted, that I was a lesbian, that I was attracted to females. And you know what's happening? I had to hide it. And when did you go? When was that? In the 90s? Oh, oh no. Uh, let's see. I came out when I was 19, so um, I was born in 1983. So I think where we are now, we're in the similar generation. I think things today aren't what they were. I grew up in Ohio in the 1990s, and we're in a different place today. And I think this, is a, this could be a very productive conversation. I don't get to do this in the campaign trail often, where we all are in our own echo chambers and silos. So it's good for us to talk to each other. I like that. Something funny's happened, I think, in the last few years in this country with the civil rights movement. It's right when we get to closest to the promised land of true racial equality that we then start obsessing over systemic racism. It's right when we get to the point in our national history where whoever you are, you can marry who you want, where you want, if you want, whatever gender they are, that we start then obsessing over the sexual identity revolution. You know what's actually funny right now is many people who are lesbian or gay are being taught to say that, hey, if you're a woman attracted to a woman, you're not a woman, you're a man. So that's the transgender movement. The L and the G, first of all, don't have that much to do with each other. The G and the T don't have as much to do with each other. But we're clubbing all of these things up to create more division. I hate the term persons of color. You want to know why? You take a hundred different cultures, combine them into one thing that's designed to be opposed to this other thing we call white. And so the way I view this is you are free to live your life the way you wish to, as long as you don't hurt anybody else in return. And I'm free to do the same thing too. But that doesn't mean we change the way men and women compete in sports. Mm. That doesn't mean we change the way. Men and I don't think that just because you identify as a man doesn't mean that you're entitled to a trophy. You agree, do you agree with me on that? You agree with me on that? You agree with me on that. All right. That's different. Because men shouldn't be swimming with women in women's sports competitions. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's different. That's what I'm talking about, right? And so that's what I'm saying is it's not all the same thing, right? And so we got to respect people and treat them with dignity. Every one of us is different. But all I'll say is kids aren't the same as adults. And if we can agree on that, then I think we at least made some progress tonight and we'll have a step forward. Mm. So thank you. I appreciate that. So, and I respect her for asking that. That takes courage to stand up and be the only. You know what? I'll tell you this. 
When you're the only person in a room, and I'll come to you next, when you're the only person in a room who believes what you do, I will always tell you, stand up and say it. That's how we're going to get this country back, is actually all of us starting to speak openly again. And that's how we're going to get this country back. And I love your shirt. She's got an American flag. So you get the next question. Okay. This was amazing. Yeah, it is. I was not expecting the ending. Well, it's lovely for both of them to come to an agreement that keeping children out of the business was is very reasonable. I keep with the stand. I know LGBTQ plus are treated poorly in the society. We all know, I know, and I disagree the way they are treating them. My take in it is little children who are still trying to discover the world, who are still trying to know things, should not t- take a decision, number one, to tell their parents probably they're 13, 14, to tell their parents that they feel like I'm a boy. Then the parents take them to go do some surgeries, they're cutting their breasts and removing their uterus, I disagree with that. Irrespective of how your child feels. Unless the baby, unless the child is up to the age of 18 or 20, grown enough to make some deci- life altering decisions. I'm very pleased. I'm very happy that he came to conclusion with the lady and the lady was pleased and happy that, yeah, okay, you said the truth. High five. It's really beautiful to see the, such moments. I'm really pleased and uh, I'm happy that she stood up and stand for what she believes in. It's not everyone that has such courage to do so, according to what he said. Um, like, thumbs up to her, like, big respect for her to stand up and stand for what she believes in. So guys, also his, his ways, the way he handled the matter maturely, like, that, there was tension right there. The debate was really intense. There was really big tension. So he was trying to cool down himself, so then answer her. Comment below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales on.